One part of being a college student is dealing with difficult reading assignments. And as you just discovered, students often use negative words like overwhelmed, panic, stupid, frustrating, and worried to describe how they feel when they have to read something hard. But what if I told you these words were actually used by English professors describing how they felt when they had to read something difficult? That's right, in terms of emotions, teachers and students aren't all that different. So how do we break through our initial frustration and move on to a place where we understand what we're reading and maybe even enjoy it? One answer is active reading strategies. And what are active reading strategies? Well, they're tools to help you keep your mind engaged while you read so that you're better prepared to discuss what you've read and write about it in class. For example, you could ask yourself pre-reading questions before you read and then answer them as you read. You could summarize what you've read, you could diagram it, or teach it to someone else. We'll look at those strategies a bit later in the unit, but right now I want to talk about looking up definitions. I really can't say enough good things about looking up definitions and writing them down in your notes as you read. It got me all the way through grad school. For example, this is a quote from something we'll be reading next week. We must question incessantly the scholarship and frameworks that have been perpetuated as foundational. I understand the first three words, we must question, but incessantly, I'm not sure of. So I look it up in the dictionary and find out that it means without stopping. So now I understand that the author wants us to question something without stopping to keep questioning it without giving up. There are a few more definitions I want to look up to make sure I fully understand the quote, but I'm off to a good start. After I've looked up all the definitions I don't know, I'll be able to restate what the author said in my own words, which is a pretty good indicator that I've solved the puzzle and understand what the author was trying to say. Of course, looking up definitions and other active reading strategies can be time consuming, so it is important to keep an eye on the clock and be realistic about the amount of time you have. And if looking up definitions isn't for you, there are other strategies that we'll be talking about later in this unit. What's really important is that you find something that works for you and continue to use it throughout your college career. <laughs>